let's get to cooking. This is what we're doing today at Mima's house. Hey y'all, here are the ingredients we'll be using to cook our collard greens in our Instant Pot. Okay, so y'all know that I like a little meat in my collard greens. And collard greens just aren't collard greens without some sort of meat for me. I am using smoked turkey necks today. Um, and I usually try to use the turkey, some kind of turkey product instead of pork. It is traditional to put pork products, uh, smoked pork or otherwise, into our greens. But today I'm using smoked turkey necks. Anyway. I'm going to add an onion, and I'm going to add some better than bouillon, some chicken better than bouillon, um, in my broth to make a nice savory broth to cook our greens in. Now I'm going to mix two tablespoons, and this is just regular old tablespoons of better than bouillon in with four cups of water to begin the broth making. You know, the turkey necks are going to add to the fullness of this broth, so, but this is a good start. I don't have any garlic, fresh garlic, to put into the collards, and I like to put fresh garlic. So, because I don't have fresh, I'm going to use the next best, best thing, and that's garlic powder. I'm going to mix that in with the better than bouillon, about two tablespoons of each, and four cups of water. We're going to get this cooking to get our broth ready for our greens. Now remember, smoked turkey is already really cooked, but I'd like to cook this just a little bit more to make it really fork tender and um, really get into the broth to make the broth taste really tasty. Now I'm going to pressure cook these turkey necks for about 45 minutes on a high pressure. Cause you know I want my turkey neck to melt in my mouth. So there that is. While that turkey is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my greens. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that I cut that stem off the green. I actually cut it off like I'm going to do here and then I will break it off. So depending on what you want to do, I'm showing you two ways to get it done, and here they are. Now I have already rinsed off the collards while, before I cut them here. Uh, because I have to wash them three times. Collards can sometimes be very dirty and, and sandy, real gritty. Um, we don't want grits in our collard greens because that's nasty. So let's go ahead and cut our collard greens, cut them, them off the stem, and then we'll get to wash them twice more. Now I'm going to go in by pulling the collards off the stem with my hands. That's the way my mama used to do. That's the way I was taught. Oh, but then I got cute and started using a knife. So comment down below, which method you would rather pull your collard leaf away from the stem with, a knife or your hand? Either way is fine. You just don't want to eat collards on a big, branch so get it off that stem now that they're off the stem we're going to go ahead and cut them up you can cut them into um, bite-sized pieces in whichever method you choose i always just cut them this way and then maybe later on depending on how big the pieces are i may cut them downward and across um, a lot of people like them cut into little uh, slivers I, i'm not too keen on that but Hey, do, do whatever you want to do with your collard greens. As long as you like them, I love them. 
Okay, so while I finish chopping these collards, let's talk a little bit about the nutritional value of collard greens. Collards are low in sugar and they're high in fiber, which means they will help you stay fuller longer. They're also high in potassium, which helps your heart beat regularly and helps your muscles contract. It also helps balance out the salt effect or the inflammation in your body. Collards are also a great source of vitamins A, C, K, and calcium. So eat your collards, they're good for you. So it's time now to go ahead and wash our collards. I've cut them and now it's time to wash them. I usually wash mine like I told you before, about three times, three to four times, depending on how gritty they are. These were pretty clean, so I'm only going to wash these three times. Now, I normally wash my collards with just plain water, but some people like to use a little bit of salt in their water or some vinegar in their water, and they like to soak them. I just like to run mine until that water runs clean. Okay, so the greens are washed and the turkey necks are done. Let's go ahead and take the steam off and open up our instant pot and get our collards loaded in. Now you know that smells good, don't you? Look at that broth, nice and colorful. It's going to be very flavorful as well. Now remember, just because we cook that turkey a long time does not mean that it is as fork tender as we want it to be when we get ready to eat it. We have to still cook the greens in this broth as well. So we'll, the turkey will cook more when the greens are cooking. So it'll get tender, don't worry. We're almost there. Let's load the greens in. Now, once I get the greens in the pot, I like to stir them so that the broth can touch all the leaves and it can um, start to get that flavor in the collard greens. And each of the leaves of the collard green gets kissed by the wonderful broth. Okay, all of those collards, it looked like a lot when I first put it in. Now it doesn't look like so much because the collards will melt right on down. We're going to hit, go ahead and cook the collards now on a high pressure, 35 minutes. And they will be nice and tender, but not mushy. Now the collards are all done. Let's stir them up one last time and serve us a bowl. So now I'm going to taste my greens 
and um, see what's cooking down here. Hold on. Yep. Got enough bite. They're not mushy. I don't like mushy green. But, and the seasoning is good. So, go do your heart a good treat and eat you some greens. Cook like this. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you like the videos where I give you some nutritional information, please comment down below. Nutritional information. In the meanwhile, y'all be blessed. Bye.